Beat the Street seems to have made East Kilbride a happier place. Everybody's chatting more. It's great to see everybody walking more. Beat the Street's a great way for pupils, parents, carers to get active by walking to school and also getting active during curriculum time as well. We're all down to Primary and we're playing Beat the Street and we think you should play it too. Yeah! Yeah! Now I'm spending less time on my games console and I'm going out. You've got thoughts and then you go and scan beatboxes and then you get points. This has been a, a good initiative to get them thinking, no, let's leave the car because we know the damage that cars cause, um, the pollution in and around that as well. We don't want to be walking with our streets polluted. The kids are definitely a lot more aware of that and I think they want to be part of this change. Be the Without the collaboration of all the other partners, it's not just a single one man show like Beat the Street, it is a collaboration. I like to travel something that we're trying to promote for the staff as well, so anything that can help along that way and get involved in the games. The other benefit that I've noticed, apart from seeing all the, the families out and about, is the amount of things that you see even in your own area that you haven't noticed before. Okay, Wakelands is really important for East Kilbride. We're all about community engagement. There's lots of people that didn't know about us before that now know about us because of the, the boxes. So each week, Be The Street has a different team and this week's theme is Go Travel. People will be encouraged to travel uh, early in the morning, tap the boxes and collect double points. They can tap the, uh, the boxes on the way here to the college, whether they are walking, cycling or taking public transport. It's been great having Meet the Street and East Kilbride. They are directly working within communities, within schools, and it's so impactful, these messages coming from other organisations, not just from ScotRail, um, not just from us saying, like, yeah, it's greener to travel by train, but actually showing and relaying that message in a different way, and particularly with children. Hopefully, these kids are going to be already engaged with the train, so hopefully can continue to reduce the effects of climate change. My main remit is really to do with the intervention called Big Bike Revival. We need to look at climate change and climate challenge. We need to look at carbon reduction and getting people back on their bikes and getting them walking again is obviously a, a, an excellent way of doing that. Home Energy Scotland is a Scottish government funded programme. Cleaning up the air, reducing air pollution, reducing carbon emissions, get out there, cycle, use an e-bike. What the game has allowed us to do is to really engage with all the children in every single school. And it's just great to, to see so many children active and involved in the community. Beat the Street is so positive because it's giving people another reason to go outside, to walk without anyone telling them to. It's great to see families all together. They see a lot now kids wanting to walk to school, which is great because it means that we're leaving the cars behind. The Clean Air programme is actually helping with that. There are no less CO2 emissions. It's not hard, it's available for everybody. It's free, all ages. If I can do it, most folk can do it. I think people will be queuing up to get it. I think that um, everything in and around it's been very, very, very positive. It is great, absolutely fantastic. It's life-changing for most folk.